All right, we are back, and we would like to welcome to, to the our show our first in studio guest. This is crazy. This I don't even know how to handle this. Like, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have seen him all over television. Uh, you can catch his new film coming out. And <laughs> is, is that right? In all seriousness, yeah. we would like to welcome one of the greatest Street Fighter players of all time, the man, the myth, the legend, Alex Valle. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, just us in here, so let's clap. Thanks, everybody. How's it going, sir? What's up, Mike? How you doing, dude? <laughs> Have a seat. Oh, uh, we got a guest. Yeah, yeah how's, we got a how's guest. the couch feel? Oh, man, this couch is <laughs> mic proof, man. That's why you like sitting here so much, huh, Mike? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, I broke it in. Yeah, you broke it in. Feels good. Yeah, exactly. Feels good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, if you guys have been living under a rock for the Ooh. past, I don't know, 15 years? A while. 15 plus. 15, yeah. 15 plus, plus years? Yes, exactly. Uh, the you know, community <laughs> video from Evo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, you've seen Alex Valle uh, going up against, you know, all kind, all the other Street Fighter legends throughout mm -hmm. the years. Mm -hmm. Daigo, Mike Watson, John Choi, all those dudes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, over time, you know, maybe your role has changed a little bit uh, from just being... Yeah, just a player. Just a player. To now adapting... Everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're juggling yeah. a lot on your shoulder, on your, in your hands. What, what do you juggle with? I juggle with my hands. <laughs> you guys may be more talented than me. Right. I juggle with your feet. Yeah. But I mean, you know, tell us a little bit about the, you know, the transition. Well, uh, I mean, just like any pro athlete, they're, they're doing their best. They're playing their hearts out. Mm. You know, one day they're all like, look, you know, it's, you know, it just feels that you can't be doing this forever just like that. It's, it's too selfish. You know, mm -hmm. you got you to gotta spread your talent. You got to, you know, inspire minds. And hopefully one day you'll have a better version of you doing what you did. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, just that's why I stopped training just one person at a time. You know, I used to do that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I just opened the doors for everybody in just the fastest possible way I could. So, I mean, that, that, that got me going. You know, got some of the, you know, Afro legends. Um, oh, yeah. Shizas, the you know, just to name a few, to get up to top eight in Evo, mm -hmm. and then winning some. So, I mean, that I, a couple of proud moments doing that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I remember Afro Legends when he broke into the scene somewhere like around 2005, and you know, we used to talk to him on AIM. Like this guy was good, right? Like this dude who played Super Turbo. And, you know, once Vi found out that he was from the area, Vi pretty much went to his house unannounced, <laughs> put him in a headlock, <laughs> took You're him back to the Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, you know, uh, Afro Legend shows up at Evo and is just, like, tearing everybody apart. So, hoping one day he does that for me. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta check the schedule. Yeah, exactly. So, you got some big things happening, right? I mean, it's Tuesday right now. Some countries, it's probably already... On Thursday a Friday or, or something. something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, you got something going on tomorrow, don't you? Yes, yes. We have this little show called Wednesday Night Fights. Ah, yes, I've heard of it. Yes, <laughs> yes. So uh, this is the second half of 2011. Mm -hmm. We've, uh, you know, this is, I don't know if we can technically put it in, in real seasons yet, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but um, I would just say this is the second half of 2011. It's kind just, of a new beginning? Yeah, yeah, it's mm -hmm. a kind of a new beginning. Um, right. But of course, it's Wednesday Night Fights tomorrow at uh, 8 p.m. Okay. And it's a lot of changes have been going on. So how did yeah, these change? I mean, you know, yeah. like <laughs> out of nowhere, we just find out, oh, by the way, Wednesday Night Fights is going to be at Super Arcade. I mean, you know, for those that don't know, it's going to be at Super Arcade. Right. Uh, so where did, where did that come from? Why, why, is, why Super Arcade? Okay, so uh, just a little brief history of where Wednesday Night Fights yeah, came from. I was, yeah, yeah, was yeah. going to ask for the history. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fill, fill me in yeah, because fill I wasn't there. I was yeah. there. I was there. Yeah, but Phil, cool. but, you know, I did my research. I know okay. all the history. Right. So. I know you want to cut to the chase. <laughs> yeah, but, right. I mean, let's, let's take it back. I mean, how do Wednesday Night Fights come together? Uh, the very first one, it wasn't called the Wednesday Night Fights. It was called the Gathering at Valle's Pad. <laughs> <laughs> during, <laughs> very elaborate. During, I like during, <laughs> during the GameStop Street Fighter IV Vanilla Tournament. Oh, It was, it nice, was around that nice. time. It was, I think, after the third round. Okay. Okay. And, uh, of course, you know, had a lot of heads from that tournament to come out of my house. Like, nah, it's just too many people. Mm -hmm. right. Slowly but surely, going into a different home, seeing which, you know, uh, people, the community of SoCal, who can house 15, 20 people at first? You right. know, we went to Huntington Beach, Costa Mesa, and then inev inevitably we went to uh, SHGL BMX's house, yes. Daniel Tamp. So uh, we started the name Wednesday Night Fights there in a garage, pretty much where we started streaming 
with at first it was GYT News. Yeah. AJ <laughs> Papa came aboard, mm -hmm. pretty much put it, made it into a little show. And I'm like, this is how I can train right. people as fast as possible. And efficient. And yeah. Then, yeah. And mm. then, of course, I saw the talents of the crew, you know, with him, Jimmy, Frank, and the House of Kata crew mm. brought up Level Up into making it a full production type of uh, training regimen. Nice. And then, of course, I've met a uh, lot of uh, big players in the game, in the community, to make it even bigger. Went mm. to um, da uh, Dave & Buster's, and then we went to Hollywood Park Casino. Then, um, of course, we went to uh, the Proud Bird. Mm -hmm. And this was all over the period of between about 2009 and 2010? Yes, two, yeah, 2009 all the way to 2010. That's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, like I said, as <laughs> fast as possible, trying to get it yeah. out there. And, of course, it was our first SoCal Regionals of 2010. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, Which was last October. Yes, it was last October. And then we did, we structured it in a way where it had many seasons in the yeah. beginning of 2011. Mm -hmm. uh, we worked with a company called Tournament Legacy at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, it went to a full-blown ballroom type yeah. of uh, training with yeah. a weekly tournaments. So people would get commentators, Ultra mm -hmm. David, James Chen, the great players yeah. there, Justin Wong, yourself. Nah. Yes, <laughs> thank yes you, yourself thank you, thank have beat me a couple yeah, times. Nah, never happened. <laughs> There's no documented <laughs> no, no, no. So, and I mean, you guys have been there. It's, it's like that. And then, um, then we took a break around EVO 2011. Yeah. And Which everybody needs to do yes, <laughs> around yes. EVO. You got to take a break. Yes, and yeah, we had a lot of changes from then on. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys grew a lot, you know, starting from the beginning in Shiggles Garage. I mean, from your house to Shiggles Garage. And then last time I was there, uh, down at the Proud Bird at Wednesday Night Fights, you guys, I mean, there was maybe a couple hundred people there. Mm -hmm. And, you, you know, you guys had thousands of people watching online. Uh, so you guys had a great thing going. But now, uh, you know, you guys are moving to Super Arcade. And, I mean, it seems like there must have been some sort of reason for that. Yes. Okay. So, of course... Um, what I've learned is that when you're going too fast, some, some, sometimes you need to know when to step on the bricks because mm. you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Right. Okay. And, um, you know, we work with Terminate Legacy and, you know, we just sat down and we're like, hey, um, you, we really need to talk about our, our plans and goals. You know, where do they want to go and where do we want to go? Mm -hmm. Because we're two different event coordinating companies. Right. Okay. And, of course, our plans and goals didn't align in the bottom line, and we wanted to go more in the grassroots because that's where we came from. I mean, they're going into a direction where it's, like, adding a lot more into it that mm -hmm. we're not prepared for. You gotcha. know, like, we had, like, shooters and sports games and stuff, and, mm -hmm. and you know, Revelations, we helped them out with there. So there we, um, we were contracted as the stream providers, mm -hmm. but not as a full-fledged partner like right. SCR. Mm -hmm. So... Um, you know, after that sit down, we're like, okay, you know, um, they're great guys, but, mm. you know, we wanted to go more back to grassroots. And so we had time to think and trying to like, all right, so now what are we going to do if we're going to start from scratch? Right. So, of course, there's another, <laughs> an older gentleman, <laughs> an older gentleman that, that, that is more OG than everybody in this country <laughs> that pretty much is the new that's manager amazing. of mm. Super Arcade, the Goken. Uh, the real Goken. The Goken of Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Oh Super, I hope he's yeah. watching this right now and he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> Super <laughs> Legend of... Yeah, the mm. Legend of Street Fighter himself. Yeah. Mr. Mike Watson. Yeah. Called me up and goes, hey, man. Um, oh, I thought you were going to do your Mike Watson impression. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have many. I have many, but I have to see him later, so I don't want him to be here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, he's all, hey, um, you know, I'm the new manager of Super Arcade. You should come down, check it out. Mm -hmm. He's like my brother, man. I yeah. went in there, not even like five minutes. I'm like, let's do it. Perfect. You know, because we just talked, briefly talked about Wednesday Night Fights, you know. What he thought, blah blah blah, and we're like, you know what? Let's whatever it takes. I look at an arcade; it's like small, small space compared to what we're used to. But right. you know what? We just sat down and we're like, this needs to move. This needs to move. This mm. needs to happen. Boom, boom, boom. We just did it. Yeah. We're like, all right, let's do it there. And the main reason why I this is like the ultimate training program because we were born in an arcade. Yeah, absolutely. Because if yeah. you if you're playing in a ballroom, there's too much com like complacency in there. That's true. Because you're there, That's you're true. playing. Everything so is so <laughs> comfortable, so right? Yeah, yeah, 
yeah, right? Yeah, and then yeah. you lose. You're not you that stop. mad. You're but, mad, yeah. but you're not that mad. You're not that mad. Yeah. And then you go get a drink, and you're just like, yeah. I was like, you walk around to the bar area, you know, yeah. Yeah. grab a water, so yeah, right. whatever you want to get. Right, right. And uh, yeah, so now I really love the fact, you know, that it, we're back at the arcade. Mm -hmm. A minute from my house. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little biased. Yeah, you don't want to say biased. that too loud, yeah, 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 I said I'm a, you know, a couple of hours away. <laughs> but no, like I'm so happy that it's going to be there. Yeah. And because of those mm -hmm. uh, reasons that you mentioned, the fact that it brings back that whole arcade feel, and we are going to get that sense to want to level up there, you know? 